Hey you, welcome back to the channel. And guys, today I'd like to talk to you a little bit about the latest Bitcoin Hex interview we got with Richard Hart and a little bit about the psychology that goes on around the cryptocurrency space and trying to understand that a little bit better. And in, and in doing so, I think that probably gives us a better understanding of what the cryptocurrency space is is all about and what exactly it is that we're doing in it and trying to accomplish. So we're looking at um, a page here about John Keynes. Uh, you see this page really seemingly doesn't have much to do with Bitcoin Hex, but I believe it probably does. So I like to read some of the words here of John Keynes. He says he speaks on the qualities of a master economist. The master economist must possess a rare combination of gifts. He must be a mathematician, a historian, a statesman, a philosopher in some degree. He must understand symbols and speaking words. He must contemplate the particular in terms of the general and touch abstract and concrete in the same flight of thought. No part of a man's nature of his institutions must lie entirely outside his regard. Keynesian economics focuses on psychology, uncertainty, and expectations, right? So I'm going to stop right there. I, I wanted to kind of delve into the importance of psychology in the cryptocurrency space so many times we can understand what's happening around us like how uh, Mr. John Cain speaks of. Now, uh, although the cryptocurrency space is a much smaller market, perhaps it doesn't mirror every concept and idea that exists in our traditional markets. What is quite clear is that there are some similarities uh, with uh, the cryptocurrency space and how the markets work in relation to uh, traditional markets. So this is very interesting. I, I find this, this part very interesting. When a recession or a depression occurs, the free market economic system is not necessarily self-correcting. Indeed, in mass, individuals can become trapped in a deflationary depression which is in no one's interest, but which left on our own, no one can counter act. How many of us kind of feel like that's what's happening in the, in the cryptocurrency space today? Um, basically what that, what that's saying is that we can become, if we were to compare it to the cryptocurrency space, some of the psychological components that are going on here, that, how uh, similar to how we've been trapped in this bear market for like a year that unchecked left unchecked uh it can be a situation that can't be counteracted per se right so looking at a project like bitcoin hex um a lot of people i think wonder why i'm excited about the project and why I think it's a great idea and why I talk about it a lot. Um, and I think someone was asking me the other day, they say, uh, every time they do a Bitcoin Hex uh, video, uh, you know, you, uh, you know, uh, someone said uh, something to the federal. Richard Hart says the exact same thing. What are you getting out of these videos? But I think it's very important that we address the psychology that happens in the cryptocurrency space, because from what I've seen with a lot of things that go on, um, our behavior in it, uh, it's not being addressed. And I think if we were aware of it, we would possibly have a very significantly different space and hopefully for the better. What I'm finding in Bitcoin Hex is that through some type of device or machina or machination, uh, there may tap into a lot of the psychological 
mental projections we have about what's happening and put us in a state, I think, where we're able to process it and maneuver it a great deal better. And I think Bitcoin Hex has the ability to do this from looking at the last video earlier today. Really should watch it. I'm going to leave a link in the description. Uh, but I think it's stepping on or going down the right path of where we can start to deal with some of this and resolve it. Also, I find it quite interesting that when I first heard about Bitcoin years and years ago, that it was this very anti-like establishment man building and taking control of his money and destiny and that Bitcoin grew and became this very interesting and amazing thing based on the psychology of that philosophy. Yet we find ourselves in 2019 hoping, praying and begging for some institution, some place, some bank, some place, <laughs> Uh, some New York Stock Exchange parent company someplace to come and bail us out of this um, economic depression that we may be in in cryptocurrency, right? Um, in my point of view, I don't feel we're necessarily in one, but it is a matter of perception, as I probably think the proper trade in place of Bitcoin might be around $800 to $1,000. When I factor some supply and demand in there and from some of the research I've done, but that's another story for another day. Let's look at psychologically how people view the market at this point in time and the condition of the markets, the conditions of Bitcoin, and think about why that is and why we're in that state. So getting back to Bitcoin Hex, the game theory of Bitcoin Hex, I think, plays on many of the important psychological characteristics we've left out that goes into investing in markets like this. Addressing that and working on that, I think, brings us in a state where we don't need these big institutions to come in and bail us out. We don't need to go through... Uh, years and years of bear markets because these are all psychological constructions within markets that we haven't addressed. We have developers and mathematicians, which is part of the um, uh, important uh, uh, composition of what we need to have happen in cryptocurrency. We need those minds. We need the developers. We need the mathematicians. But without the psychology being ba um, as important as those factors balanced in a way and addressed in the same way as I need to build bigger, faster, better things, then I think we will get to this point where we can navigate such situations a great deal better. That's why I'm so excited about Bitcoin hacks. And uh, um, I think it's touching on that a great deal. And I think that's very much what we need at this point in time, right? This um, casino-like dice game we're playing in cryptocurrency is inherent to the human condition. As to say, we're going to do this. We're going to want to get rich. We're going <laughs> to, you know, we're going to want to make a lot of money. This is part of our survival mechanism. This is something we're going to do. And that's fine. That's okay. But again, understanding that and understanding what needs to be done in place to have a healthy market, a functional market, how I believe it was meant to be done by the people and, and not controlled by some institutions. Or, I, In fact, I've always thought the message was anti-institution and money coming in that way. But wouldn't it make more sense that if the message was anti that and 
provide the freedom from that, which seemed to be the same idea of what brought us into cryptocurrency in the first place. So that's why I like Bitcoin Hex so much. I know a lot of people look at it and say, oh, it's just another altcoin. It's probably not going to do much. It's probably not going to change much. Probably it's going to be somebody at the top gets rich and some pyramid of people below. But maybe not. Maybe Bitcoin has puts us on the road of what it's going to take to really make these markets work. And uh, that's why I'm so excited about Bitcoin Hex. But guys, that's all I want to say in this video. If you like content like this, don't forget to like, subscribe. And until next time, take care.